Hello everyone, this is Janice, and today I'm going to be sharing a um, card that I'm going to be using as a thank you card. I'm going to make a few of these. I have a few people to send thank you cards to. Um, I used the Cindy Lou cartridge, which was a gift to me from Arlene. Thank you, my friend. I'm enjoying this cartridge very much. Um, uh, let's see what page. in the handbook and I cut this little birdhouse here at three and three quarters okay so let's show you I have the pieces here on my mat let me get them off um, I used the shadow Sounds like wood. We actually are having a chilly day here in Florida. It's very odd, but um, yeah, it's pretty chilly. I think someone has their fireplace going. It smells like fireplace. I've got my doors open, airing out the place. Because pretty soon we're coming into our season of. You know, just have an AC on all the time and really no fresh air blowing through here. But today, it's very nice. I want to thank all of you for all of your comments on my husband's birthday card. He did love it. He loved it more than I even expected. He, he was so appreciative and he just really looked at it for a long time and he enjoyed it he said it was it was beautiful and well done and all that good stuff and my son said my mom made it all by herself she had no help <laughs> he made me feel good too so it was nice so thank you all for your comments as well I know you guys appreciate it because I know that you know what it takes to put it together and he appreciated it too, so it's nice. They're outside playing with the neighborhood kids, so I'm making a card. All right, let's put the little thing together here. Yeah, this cartridge is really cute. I, you know, I, I wasn't gonna buy it or anything, and I didn't. Like I said, my dear friend Arlene, she just blessed me with it. And I thought that was really nice. And she gets, she's given me other cartridges, too, to put on my Gypsy. Like five of them or so. Really nice of her. So I just shared the recess one with her. Um, okay, now these two. These colors, by the way, if you're wondering, the pink... The pinks are these two pinks from this Butterfly Wings from Recollections. I love the Recollections paper in my Cricut. It cuts wonderfully. And I wanted to use these colors too, this purple and this green, but it didn't happen. So I found a bling. I really wanted to use the green in there, just a little accent color. So that worked for me. I think that, that green looks really cute on there. there. This is probably the cutest. This is probably my favorite thing on the cartridge is this little birdhouse. It reminds me of, have you ever been to Martha's Vineyard in Massachusetts? Oh my. They have the little gingerbread houses. I mean, they're houses. That's what they call them. Um, but you know, people go and they stay in them when they vacation there. So cute. It's so adorable. So it reminds me of that. Those are really happy memories for me. 
We lived in Massachusetts for six years when my husband was in the military. And um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was a great place to live. But very snowy, very cold, very cold, a lot of snow. That's what I was thinking and I, as I was, the first time I saw this cut, I thought, gingerbread house. And all the other pieces, I don't know, just reminds me of like German stuff, decorative things. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's just what it reminds me of. I should have done the faux stitching before I did the dimensionals or the foam tape. But I like adding the little faux stitching. So cute. And this is the Jelly Roll pen by Sakura, and those are my favorite pens. Everything they make, I like every pen. I don't have them all yet, but as you know, I'm trying to be a good girl and not spend. That's it. Just putting that there. And then I'm going to get the little bling here. Okay. Alright, now for the rest of the card. What I did was I took this piece, which is really a frame on the Cindy Lou cartridge. This is really a frame and it has a, you know, little square in the middle and so does the shadow part okay but I just really liked this shape and I thought it would make a great card however you have to kind of find the right orientation for this thing then I took two of the shadow and I weld them together and, and these are five inches so all I do, and I really should have flipped it because, like I said, they are not um, symmetrical. So I really should have flipped it so that this would come together correctly. Do you see how that's just not matching? So that's a tip for you. But I really was trying to hurry so I could get to do this you know, while they're outside. While well, it's quiet. Here. Okay, so there we go. So that's going to go like that. Lord help me to remember. Let's just go ahead and adhere this down. Because I didn't do it right on the first one. But you know what? That's okay. That is the charm of a homemade card. Right? All right, so what I did to this was I ran it through the Musical Flourish Cuddle Bug Embossing Folder. Let me show it to you. I gotta get my Cuddle Bug out. I may have to move back a bit. It's, it's quite close here. Sorry, let me just uh, do this. And then, 
Hopefully, I think I hear them coming. Okay. So what I did, see it doesn't fit, okay, but that's okay, because what you can do is you can run it through twice, and you do get a seam, and again, you know, that's the beauty of a homemade card. It's not going to be perfect. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. And you know what? That's okay. Okay, so then you take it out and now you you just line it up as best as you can. It this one does not line up at all. So forget it. But because we're putting that little birdhouse in the middle, it will camouflage the seam quite a bit. Now, for the sentiment, what I did was I got a piece of this pink, the same pink was from the scraps, and I cut a three quarter inch, just a three quarter inch uh, strip. Oh, I'm going to go ahead and glue this down now. I don't even want to move it. I'm going to have to realign it. I know they're going to be here any minute. I gotta go get my grill going. I got some T-bone steak. So my husband and my son love steak. So do I. So let me cook that. Mashed potatoes. They love that meal. All right. My husband really did not want to go out to eat. He's really not. He's a homebody. I'm not. I like to go out but it's his birthday so okay what I'm doing is on the scallop side of this purple we are memory keeper corner chomper I am lining it up on this side over here and just chomping it down then I'm lining it up over here okay and just chomping it then I'm going to kind of eyeball, let's see how much I did last time, about that much, what is that, just a little, an inch and a smidge, and we're going to do the same thing, it didn't turn out like the first time I did it, a little different. Okay, that's really what I wanted. I didn't, didn't line it up right. I'm going to have to do that again. Did I not just say it doesn't have to be perfect? Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> I, want it. I just want it the way, see that little nub there? I just turn that off. And then just cut another piece and do it again. Okay, still not the way it came out the first time. Let me see if this is even going to fit. I'm going to do it again. Let me trim it ahead of time. Okay. Okay. Let 
Right, that's going to be it. I'm done. Okay, so that's going to say you are. But first, I'm going to. mess with it a little more. <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm taking the sponge sugar distress ink and I am going around the edges just to give it a little added dimension, added interest. And I have this little set from K. Andrew Designs and it's called Amazing You. I've had it for a while. It's a great little set. It has you are and then all different words. Amazing, a hero, super inspiring, awesome, generous, brilliant, courageous, a blessing, loved, not alone, delightful, beautiful, my friend. Her stamps are really nice. Just Google K. Andrew Design and you'll find her. She has great, great stamps and she donates a portion to some sort of a charity you know for every stamp set that you buy so that's really nice um, okay and then um oh and, and that that rocket card remember how I put a sticky note inside has been so funny. He was like, you know, this card is reusable. <laughs> you could give this to someone else. Because <laughs> I like that. I like it. So I was glad that he um, appreciated that. Okay. You are. And then inside, we're going to do a blessing. But what I did was I cut a little square, two and a half by two and a half. And then I did the other side, the cloud side of this same corner chomper, the purple one. Love it. I can't wait to use it in a scrapbook page. Okay. And so this is what we're going to use as a sticky note. This is just some more of this pink paper from that same paper from Recollections. The same light pink. And now I'm going to take this and I'm the, a blessing and I'm going to stamp it right below this little square here. I'm just using the Mento Tuxedo Black for that. And then I have this little bird. So cute. I am. He probably came from Joanne's or something. I've had him for a long time. I don't know where if he came from. He probably came from Joanne's. I used to shop at Joanne's a lot more before we got our Michaels over here at Waterford Lakes. So, and I've I know I've had him for a long time. Okay, so to make it reusable, what I did was I used a repositionable glue stick. This is what I use to restick my Cricut mat. So this um, makes it so that whoever gets this can take this part off and then reuse it. You know, and they can put a sticky note on there or, you know, because they do make the smaller sticky notes. So I'll show you on this one that it comes right off and I can put it right back on. And they come, um, I bought this at Walmart today. These are the Elmer's brand. So I'm going to check, check that out. This one's the Scotch. I usually just kind of stick with scotch, but I just thought I would try the other, make sure that that one works as well, because people ask me that all the time. So now I've got two thank you cards that I can send out to some lovely people. Thanks for watching. Bye.